everyone i'm here uh with another tutorial i have um, a tutorial that i want to do a um, arduino page kind of trying to imitate the arduino pages that i do on paper what i have here is a new um, product that i had at the store at the time of this video which are uh journal book sets which are pages in my art journal so uh, it's valid to point out that if you have my Procreate set mixed media, these are included there as well as a bonus. But for people that don't use Procreate, I decided to launch them separately so you can use in Photoshop as well. And of course, if you have Procreate and want to buy that set, you're going to have this as well. So these books uh, pages um, they can be used on a normal 12 by 12, and then you put a background and they can be on top of it and um, let will do another layout with it. But I wanted to do a uh, Arjuna spread and I just put the um, printing uh, size that I wanted, which is gonna be 10 by eight. And then I put the um, book on top of the layer here, as you can see. So then we can act as normal. So I'm gonna start the same way that I would start creating a base of our journal. Basically, I do a lot of backgrounds in my art journal, so I don't start with my pages blank or, you know, just with text. In this particular case, this is from my junk journal, so this was a flyer that came on a mail, a little booklet. So I already do kind of uh, backgrounds so i can just build collages or things on top of it so that's what i want to do the same way that i want to show you that you can have the same fun here in photoshop so let's start i first will start what i would start in a regular page i will start with some stenciling and some paints first i'll do some stenciling and create some textures what i want to create right now are textures so i'm going to start with this one and if you want more tips on how to use those, um, you can see a previous video. I'm going to link here that I use the stencils. And I actually want to get almost white to pretend like it's a gesso. So if we hide the underneath layer, I will see just with the marching ants what I'm creating. And um I can let me just um you know lock this here so I don't grab it command control and select inverse and I'm going to go to a new layer hide the stencil go to the brush Make it bigger. Yeah, that's what I want there. Okay. Just select and I'm actually don't want that one. I'm gonna duplicate this one. And I'm going to take it to the other side. And this one, I want to be here. And then I'm going to just it is some of it with a brush because I want this um, hard to show. There we go, that'll be better. Yeah. Okay. Have that, and I think what I want here is, and this you can certainly do this with a mouse, 
but it's bad if you have a walk on tablet and I want to grab the mix media pencil here and it is black right there so I'm gonna get a new layer I'm gonna put this on the last layer here I don't need this layer anymore which is this stencil I'm gonna make this really small because what I want up oh, not black black not white okay what I want is to do just some doodles so that's the beauty here when you do this kind of work because you can insert your own marks you don't need to depend on what you have right although I have some marks for you in some of my um, elements so here I have some artsy transfers that look like painting right so i'm gonna get this one here so we can start to build up a little bit and i'm gonna do some collage work so i'm gonna put this here let's try because i want it to look almost like a transfer so you see this color burn i like that almost like damn so i'm gonna duplicate and the second duplicate i'm going to make it 50 percent okay so you don't see the shape but you see almost like i try to stamp things and you know to my artsy goods number one you can see i have uh, doodles here so you can certainly use that so i want some more stamping not stamping but like paint to do with some collage for sure and yeah, this one is good. Just build that texture that we create on top of things. I actually like it like this, but I think I need to mask a little bit. So I'm gonna go to mask before my brush. I'm gonna change my brush. and just gonna remove some parts so it just looked like i um glued that there looks good um now i want to put some pieces of things so i'm gonna put this here Let's put some collage on top and we can talk about a little bit of shadow work. Okay, this little flower here, I'm going to use actually my um, textiles. Yeah, so they're going to be a little bit bulkier. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I'm going to bring this there. and this flower this doodle flower here this is from the doodle flower i'm going to make it smaller it's almost like a buffers you know this puffy stickers from american crafts and this little uh, phrase here i want this on top because we're gonna kind of glue everything together with this right and I have this piece of collage here that's gonna come here and I have 
this it's gonna glue this thing so let's start first with the tag and if you want to use a style um, but I just want to show you here you can go to drop shadow and the thing is um, you cannot do this in Photoshop Elements but I think so um, but what I want to do right now is create a simple um, shadow and then we're going to separate the shadow so then it makes more realistic if we manipulate the shadow because we don't want anything to look like it's floating we want it to look like it's real paper glued so let's remember the colors that we use so I'm just going to um, create a color here and it's kind of a dark amber you can see the color here I'm going to keep at 90 degrees and let's see here. Size is small, but the distance is smaller. And I want a bigger opacity. Yeah. So because then what we're gonna do, we can just um, copy this and adjust. Okay. So as you can see here, this tag looks like floating. So we don't want that. So. The way you do that, you go here to the side of the drop shadow, you say create layer. And now I can give a command control T, right click, warp. And now I can, you know, manipulate like this is glued here and in the middle. This is going to be glued here because we have the washi tape. and. This is going to tuck a little bit here and this part is going to be down there because when we glue this side, usually this side stays up, right? And I want this on the hole here to seem that it's closer to the paper, right there. So perfect. Okay. So on the uh, tape here, we are going to do the same thing, but it is a tape. So um, Photoshop remembers the last drop shadow. So we have the same thing here. So of course it's going to be low opacity it is a tape and very low distance, everything very small. So I'm just going to give it okay. And it's too like is floating a little bit. So we're going to again, Command Control T and we're gonna right click and warp. So of course what is glued on the paper we have to tuck that. Just gonna come out a little bit there. And I'm gonna tuck what is here on the paper. And there's a little closer. I think what it needs is more a little bit let me just I duplicated the layer of the shadow and I'm going to merge them um, and let me see always check to see how it looks looks perfect to see if it's how you want now we have this paper here, which is just a simple uh, paper, drop shadow again. I don't know even if I need, um, I just need it to be a little darker so we can see. I want it really close. There we go. And giving OK. We can't see little, but here it looks all the way the same. And when we glue a paper, the paper is never the same all the way. So we're going to correct that. Command Control T, right click, warp, and we're going to warp the middle here. But I don't want this so out of the, I want it to look like it is um, really tucked in the paper because remember we have all these layers on the top 
so we want it to be closer like you see if I go too much then you do it really really close okay and I will reduce the opacity just like 10% yeah that's great so if this flower puffer is above the paper so of course it's going to have more shadow than the paper so let's go to it right now it has already a layer style remember the textile so when you go here you're just going to add a style here um, a drop shadow and I'm gonna do yeah I want it darker almost no distance yeah I think that is good and what I need more the effect is on this paper so I'm gonna put a drop shadow here and again uh, drop shadow same thing uh, Let's separate and I want to show you just a little more touch to this. Command Control T, right click, warp. If this is holding here, I have to tuck it here, right? And because it's going to make a bump, this is going to be a little bit out. This is is tucked in and I can decide if I want the edges all to be out but I can show here just a little bit and I want this one to be more there okay I just want it to be a little um, darker so I'm gonna duplicate and this new duplicate I'm gonna put 50% okay so if we look here, we see the difference, how now it looks like this cluster is really there. But I want to show you here a little thing that I do. Sometimes when I have this um, strips of paper with um, sayings, I like to edge with ink. Um, if you guys know paperwork, I use the Chin Holds Distress to distress a little bit here. So what you can do actually, you can go here uh, to the dodge tool, but we can grab the burn tool. So when we grab the burn tool, we have the soft brush. You can use every other brush, but the soft brush is fine. And you can play with the mid tones and exposure here. I want a more brownish kind of dark so you know play with what you want what you like and um, we're gonna burn just a little bit here the edges and I'm gonna make this smaller and I don't know if you can see but I hope you can see that that I'm just burning make it a little darker just to give a little bit more distress so the same way I can grab an ink and stress the sides of the paper the way I want we can do that on digital as well you know and then it has your touch I want more I want less and voila then we just stress that okay so it is done so I hope you have fun playing with this I can't wait to see your art journal uh, remember um, Arjun is expressing of your soul of your heart so just play and whatever you want and express yourself with your art doesn't matter if it's digital or paper Arjuna can really heal your soul and be such a cathartic thing for your for you so have fun I can't wait to see your Arjuna pages